Hey guys and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video what we're going to do is compare a float and a double and we want to see you know what we get back. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do is start off with our program description. So basically this program compares uh, a float and a double. Alright, and now let me give you an example. All right, so an example would be, um, we have the question, does uh, three point, oh, does a float that holds the value 3.0, let's say float x, which equals 3.0, does that equal double y, which equals 3.0? And then here we have some answer. And it will be yes or no. All right, and let's do another example. I'll call this example two. All right, and then my question is, does uh, float x, which equals 3.1, does that equal double y? which equals 3.1. Okay, and then we're going to have some answer. And the answer is going to be yes or no. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to include my library now. So include stdio.h. And then we're going to go ahead and create our main function. And let's return 0 just to set it up. Now I'm going to create my variables. So let's see, we're going to have a double, uh, we're going to have a float called x, and it's going to be equal to 3.0. And then we're going to have our double, which we're going to call y, it's going to be equal to 3.0. And then we're going to have an if statement here. And we're going to say if x is equal to y, then we want to print to our console yes x equals um, y and then we're going to do a new line here and then I want an else statement so this will basically say um, if x does not equal y then I want us to print uh, to the console no x does not equal y and then we're going to do a new line here as well all right, so what do you guys think before I run this program? What do you think the answer will be? So do you think that we will get um, a, a print statement that says yes, x equals y? Or do you think we get a print statement that says no, x does not equal y? Or do you think we'll get an error message? So you can go ahead and pause the video if you want to now uh, to gather your thoughts. And I'm about to go ahead and run this now. So let's see. All right, so we didn't get any errors. What we did get, however, is a print statement. We got yes, x equals y. Okay, so not too surprising there, right? So we got this first uh, print statement that says that, uh, this says that x is equal to y. Now, what if we change this to 3.1 for both of them? Okay, so now what do you think the answer will be? Do you think we'll still get yes, x equals y? Or do you think we'll get no, x does not equal y? Or some error message because we're comparing floats and doubles. So you can go ahead and pause the video again if you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and run this. And let's see what we get. All right, so no errors. But this time we got a different print statement. We got no, x does not equal y. Hmm. So now you may be thinking, well, why doesn't x equal y? If they were equal before with 3.0, why aren't they equal now with 3.1? All right, and I'm going to explain that to you guys right now. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have float x is equal to 3.1. And we have double 
y is equal to 3.1. Okay, so what is 3.1 in binary? Well, 3.1 in binary is 11.0011011011011. And this basically continues on forever. Because 0.1 as a binary string is inf infinite. All right, so similar to um, uh, 1 divided by 9, you would get an infinite amount of 1s. Okay, so again, it's the same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste this here. All right, but so now then, okay, so these are still the same, right? Technically, they are still the same number. So what's the difference? Why does uh, comparing these two values, why does this give us a different output? Well, uh, a computer cannot really store an infinite amount of bits. Okay, it's not possible. So they have to cut it off somewhere. Now, a float can hold, I believe, it's 32 bits bits and a double can hold 64 bits but in this case we're just going to say that the double can hold uh, 8 bits after the um, the decimal and the float can hold 4 bits after the decimal so basically the float holds less bits than the double so when we're comparing the two one has more bits than the other so let's go ahead and see that. So now we're going to compare them, compare the two. So what we're comparing is x equal equal y. And again, what is that equal then? Well, the float, like we said, in this hypothetical situation, it can actually hold a lot more than this. But the float will hold something like this, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0001, 4 bits after the decimal. And we're checking if it equals uh, the double, which is 11.0. One, one uh, we said it can hold 8 bits after that decimal point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So this is what we're comparing. And now, do these two numbers look the same to you? No, they're different. So that's basically what's happening here is the computer is saying, ah, no, these are definitely two different numbers because one cuts off here and the other one cuts off here. All right. So um, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I thought it was a pretty interesting uh, question or problem. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And if you like this video, please share. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below of how to convert uh, 0.1 to a binary string. So you guys can see how we get that infinite decimal place and um, maybe some other base uh, maybe some other binary conversions you know how to get 3.1 5.1 something like that uh, just I put the links in the description below so you guys can see how you can work those out yourself if you don't know how to um, and I will be sure to put this program up on my github so I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well as always guys thanks for watching please leave any questions likes uh, share subscribe and Again, thanks for watching. So I'll see you all in the next video.